morning, everybody. This is Tanetta. I'm coming to you with tip number five on improving your relationship communication. And tip number five is to respond to your partner, of course. This is about communication. So you got to make sure that you're, of course, responding to your partner when they're asking you questions or when they're talking to you, that kind of thing, and not just ignoring the person and leaving them hanging. <clears throat> Excuse me. So like I said, when your partner's asking you how's your day, what's going on, don't, don't just walk past and act like you don't care what they're saying. That's probably the reason why you got into the, the little slump that you're in now, I guess I put it that way. Like I said, you have to, of course, respond to them to let them know that I'm doing fine, I'm doing bad, or however you're doing, I don't know. But but like I said, you have to respond to your partner, not just walk past them um, and not even acknowledge anything that they've said. I don't care if it's asking how you're doing or if they're just, of course, asking you about something that's going on in the kitchen or whatever it is. Make sure that you're responding to your partner. Never leave your partner hanging. Leaving your partner hanging means that you, you can care, at least to me, it, it looks like you can care less what your partner's talking about, what they're going through, what they're asking, and you're just devaluing them. So please add value to your partner by answering their question and not just walking past them and not just ignoring them because you're upset or whatever's going on. And if you're upset, let your partner know that you're upset. Can we talk about this in about an hour once I calm down? That kind of thing. If that's all it takes, just, just say that. And don't just leave your partner hanging just sitting there looking crazy by you not saying anything. Sometimes when you do that, when, well, can't say every time, but a lot of the times I'm sure, because I've done that, I mean, I've been done like that too as well. So like I said, a lot of times when you're doing things like that, it of course makes the other person feel like you don't care. And of course, it can of course make the other person more upset and get things more heated than what they have to be. Like I said, in order to cut some of that stuff down and to improve your communication in your relationship, make sure that you're just responding to the person. Even if it's not with the answer, it can just be that you need to calm down, give you a second, wait a minute, that kind of thing until you calm down. Then we can come back and talk later before bed, however you want to word it, or before you leave for work or whatever. Like I said, just make sure that you're acknowledging the person and that you're responding to the person. And that's tip number five, y'all. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.